Hey guys, uh, something I posted last night actually about how um, uh, somebody isn't their illness, their diagnosis isn't their definition any more than you know somebody's job isn't what they do or, or somebody's marriage isn't um, actually who they are or, or whatever. And I just had a, and speaking with a client just now, one of my beautiful clients just had a, had a session with her and. And we we're talking about this again, you know, sometimes people um, can think, well, if I start a business and fail, if the business fails, then I am, as a human, a, a failure. Um, I've spoken before to people who don't want, who are desperate for their marriage or their relationship not to end because then they will be a failure if it does. And I think it's it's just worth bringing this up and talking about it a little bit that, that, you know, what we do or what we own or who we're in a relationship with or who we feel dependent on or who our children are, who our parents are, who our family is, where where we're from, any of those things don't actually define who we are. We define who we are in, in our actions in our thoughts, in our behaviors, in our degree of kindness or our degree of meanness, we, we bring that definition of ourselves to the world all the time. Sometimes it's way too easy for us to get into the mode of, oh, this is who I am, this is what I do. And, and if I'm not doing that, then who am I? You know, um, if, if, and, I, and I, I work with a lot of people in the work that I do with clients, sometimes they're going through this kind of transition period in their careers or in their jobs or in their, you know, they're wanting to go back to study or they've just come out of study and they're trying to start businesses and stuff and people are like, well, if I don't have that, whatever that is, if I don't have that job, if I don't have that car, if I don't have that status symbol in some ways, then who am I? Like, I've got nothing. I am nothing. And that is obviously patently untrue. Those things don't determine who we are. We determine who we are by how we interact with others, by how we present to ourselves to the world, by how we show up for ourselves. And, and you know, as simple as that sounds, it's absolutely true that if you, we always tie ourselves to people, places and things, then we will always potentially be, will or potentially feel let down or, or a let down to someone if we don't live up to those things. If we tie ourselves to ourselves, our own spirit, and if we set our goals based on who we want to be and who we don't want to be anymore, how we've grown from being somebody into something else, then that's the best type of comparison, obviously, going forward, I, I think, anyway. You know, so... I want to ask you, I guess, do you agree? Do you feel like people are maybe who who they marry or what car they drive or what job they have and and whatever? If if Because if it's true that if you're a failure in business or if you've had a failed business, then you are a failure as a human, then I'm a failure as a human a few times over because I've had a few failures in business. Um, you know, I, I, I tell people that I am a successful and unsuccessful small business person entrepreneur like that. That's who I am. Um, so I don't, I obviously don't subscribe to that, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and I'd love to hear maybe from you if you struggle a little bit with that and you would like to maybe do some work on that about getting out of that mode of thinking like you are something because of what you own or what you wear or who you go out with or who your children are or what school they're at or what car you drive and stuff. I just don't think that stuff matters as much as who are you in relation to other people? Who are you in relation to showing up for yourselves and telling the, telling the world who you are? Because that stuff is far more interesting than any disease you have, any condition you have, any illness you have, any car you drive, any job you do, any of that shit, I just don't think is important at all. What's important to me is you and who you are to me and who you are to the world and how you show up for yourself. Have a great day. Get back to me with the comments if you'd like to have a conversation about this, I would too. So, 
So yeah.